know what, we have been working so hard on this story, and one of the things we've been wondering mm -hmm. about is about this 24-year-old, or near 24-year-old man, right. Mr. Rennie. Yeah, Brian Rennie, uh, again, turns 24 next month, and he's the one who posed as uh, Timothy in this case that we've been following. We want to bring in Chief Investigative Reporter Craig Cheatham. And Craig, we do know and we've reported that uh, Rennie is out on parole, just got out last month, in fact, and those were burglary and vandalism charges. What, what else have you discovered about Rennie's past? Well, uh, let's go stick first, Craig, if we can, with uh, a little bit more about why he was in prison and when he got out. He was convicted of, uh, of burglary. He got out uh, last month, about a month ago. Um, he was released from prison on March 7th and has been on state supervision uh, for the last four weeks. As a condition of his release, he is required to obey federal, state, and local laws, and if he is convicted of a felony, he could go back to prison. Again, I want to emphasize he has not been charged with a crime at this point, but he has been charged and convicted of many crimes over the last few years, including falsification, passing bad checks. Uh, he was charged with a theft. Again, he went to uh, state prison for a burglary conviction. He has also uh, been uh, charged in uh, a number of other incidents as well, uh, driving without a valid license and falsifying uh, license plates. So many of his crimes have uh, focused on theft, deception, presenting false information. And um, so it'll be very interesting to see what happens uh, in this case, and if, in fact, charges are filed. Uh, Craig and Tanya?